Lives are being saved right now in Maumee as our 11 Together Blood Drive continues. And it comes at a very important time. Tim Miller is live at Maumee United Methodist Church with more. How are things going out there, Tim? Really well, Amanda. We've had appointments coming up every 10, 15 minutes. A lot of donors coming in since 8 o'clock this morning, and this goes until 6 o'clock. And one of the donors who just got here ready for her appointment is Jocelyn Zapala. Jocelyn, you are kind of hitting a milestone today, right? We're talking the six gallon mark for donating blood, which seems like a lot. What keeps you coming back so many times? And uh, we know one person donating can save three lives. So think of all the people you've saved through this. Yeah, I mean, that right there itself, like, tells me what I need to, to know about coming back. I mean, to, to save up to three lives each time. You know, the six gallons go all the way back for me um, to high school, and I remember wow. having my first donation in our high school gymnasium and being a little bit nervous, but then once I got that underway, the first one, um, you know, it was pretty easy from there. And now, did you have a maybe motivation from you knew a family member who needed blood at some point. How did this all start for you? You know, honestly, growing up playing team sports, I wanted to be a part of a, a bigger picture and a bigger team. Uh, and this was one small sacrifice I felt like I could make to, to impact the greater good. Um, and actually, since then, I have had family members that have been diagnosed with cancer that have needed blood. Um, so that just goes on, you know, on top of the, the good that I wanted to do initially. Too. Yeah, it's something that so many people take for granted. And we were talking earlier with the Red Cross. They were saying we need to get the, the new generation, the younger yeah. people come in and yeah. donate. You started this in high school. Yeah. Um, what would you say to those who maybe haven't done this before or maybe they're in the late high school years or in their 20s because yep. we need to get them going on blood donations? Yeah, for me, it's, um, you know, are you eligible? If it's a yes, are you capable? In most cases, you're capable. And it's a small sacrifice to say, hey, I need to take a few minutes out of my day, you know, get poked with a needle, potential a little lightheadedness, but, you know, to save those lives, it, it seems like a very small sacrifice. And additionally, I'd say the Red Cross has made it super convenient and easy just based on the, the sheer number of um, drives that they have in all sorts of different areas. So kids that have the apps on their phones, I mean, it's easy to, to go and get scheduled and, and search for drives. So well, we're so appreciative, Rachel, for all the, the, the times or Jocelyn, That's for all the times that you've come out and done this over the years. Yeah. And we know you got to get to your appointment. So all thank good. you so much. Yeah. The six gallon mark. That's Here's really a milestone. More, sure. Yeah. Yep. Jocelyn's going to start on the next six after that. But you can see behind us here, guys, that we have the table set up. They've been going all day long. This will go until six o'clock. They do still have some openings available, but they want you to register. So all you have to do is text the word donate to 419-248-1100, or you can go to redcrossblood.org and uh, get signed up that way. So uh, Amanda, we're going to keep this going all throughout the afternoon here, but it's so great to see so many people come in and you get a little time to recover afterwards. They even have some treats here too, to kind of make sure you're good to go. So Amanda, many more people can come out here to Mommy United Methodist Church here, get that appointment made as there are still some slots available. All right, very good, Tim. Thank you so much. And as you mentioned, according to the American Red Cross, a single donation can save up to three lives. That's a big deal. Officials say the majority of people who need a blood transfusion are not trauma victims. Blood transfusions are meant to treat a variety of ailments like heart disease and kidney disease. Blood transfusions are really important for cancer treatments since the transfusion replenished platelets back into the body after heavy treatments from chemo and radiation.